Ever wondered how to make the perfect pizza at home? It's no secret that pizza has a universal appeal, with its delightful blend of flavours and textures. Many of us have dreamt about crafting that perfect slice right in our own kitchens. The secret, my friends, isn't just about throwing together some dough, cheese and sauce. Oh no, it's about the quality of your ingredients and mastering the right techniques. So, are you ready? Well, buckle up, because we're about to embark on a delicious journey. First off, gather all your ingredients. Begin with the base of our pizza masterpiece, the dough. You'll need flour, yeast, water, salt, and a dash of sugar. Flour forms the structure, yeast brings the fluffiness, water binds it all together, salt adds flavor, and sugar feeds our yeast. Next up, olive oil. This golden liquid will give your dough a beautiful, smooth texture and lend a subtle, rich flavor. Now let's move on to the toppings. Tomato sauce, the soul of a pizza, painting each slice with a burst of tangy sweetness. And then, the star of the show, cheese. It melts into a creamy, bubbly blanket, binding all the toppings together. Speaking of toppings, let's get creative. Maybe some pepperoni, bell peppers, mushrooms, or olives. Or how about something more exotic like pineapple or anchovies? There are no rules here, just follow your taste buds. With these ingredients at your disposal, you're ready to create pizza magic. Now it's time to create the foundation of any good pizza, the dough. It all starts with the basics, high quality flour, warm water, yeast, a pinch of salt, and a drizzle of olive oil. Combining these elements is an art in itself. Start by dissolving the yeast in warm water. It's crucial the water is just the right temperature, not too hot, not too cold, to ensure the yeast activates properly. Next, add the flour, a pinch of salt, and a splash of olive oil into a mixing bowl. Pour in the yeast mixture and start bringing it all together. As you mix, the dough will begin to form. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Kneading is an essential step in developing the gluten, which gives our dough its structure and elasticity. Now, here's where the magic happens. Once the dough is smooth and elastic, place it in a grease bowl, cover it with a damp cloth, and let it rise. This is not the time to rush. Allowing the dough to double in size will take about an hour or two, but it's worth every minute. This is where patience comes into play. When the dough has risen, you'll notice it's much softer and has a beautiful, airy texture. This is the secret to that perfect, puffy pizza crust we all love. Patience is a virtue, especially when it comes to pizza dough. The perfect dough is a labor of love, and the reward is a crust that's crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, and absolutely delicious. With your dough ready, it's time to assemble your pizza. Let's begin by gently stretching out the dough. Be careful not to tear it. The goal is to create a thin, even surface that will serve as the canvas for your edible masterpiece. Next, it's sauce time. Using a ladle or a big spoon, smoothly spread your sauce of choice, starting from the center and working your way outwards. You want to leave a small border for that delightful crust. Now let's sprinkle some magic, also known as cheese. A generous layer of mozzarella is classic, but feel free to get creative. Mix in some cheddar, gouda, or even blue cheese if you're feeling adventurous. On to the toppings. Whether you're a fan of pepperoni, bell peppers, mushrooms, or even pineapple, this is your moment. Arrange your chosen treasures evenly over the cheese. Finally, a drizzle of olive oil to give it that golden finish. Your pizza is now ready for the heat. The final step in our pizza journey is baking. A hot oven is key to a perfectly baked pizza. The temperature should be cranked up to around 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, that's hot, but it's also the secret to a crispy crust and beautifully melted cheese. Now, once your oven is heated, slide in your pizza and let it bake for about 12 to 15 minutes. You'll know it's done when the cheese is bubbly and slightly golden and the edges of your crust have a nice brown hue. But hold your horses, don't slice into it just yet. Allow your pizza to cool for a few minutes. This not only saves your taste buds from a scorching, but also helps the cheese to set, making it easier to slice. And there you have it, a perfect pizza made right in your own kitchen. Enjoy.